by a man once to, and today on The World in Your Kitchen, my guest is Nadja. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I wasn't going to say it because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's a beautiful name, but very difficult for a Canadian tongue to get around. What are you doing here? I'm cooking broth mm -hmm. to make our dinner for today. And what are we going to have? Borscht and holopsy. Borscht, I understand. Holopsy. Holopsy is cabbage rolls. Sounds very good. Now, what, do you, what have you got in here? That's broth cooking with onion and a couple of bay leaves. Can you find them there? Oh, yes, I see one floating to the top there. There they are. How did you make your broth? On meat bones or asparagus. In this broth, mm -hmm. I had asparagus. Yes. And you cook it till you get your broth. Then I added my onions and cooked it for a little while Sounds to get it stronger. Good. I was going to ask you, this, I recognize, that's what I call Italian parsley. And everybody, whatever country they come from, they tell me it's Greek parsley, it's Portuguese parsley. This is Ukrainian parsley. Ukrainian parsley. <laughs> Why the root on the end of it? Well, the root seems to have more flavor for your soup stocks then. Uh-huh. So we gave the whole thing to our soup stock. All right. How do we put the whole thing well, in there? Well, we don't like it floating around in our stocks, so we're just going to tie it up a little. You make a sort of bouquet garni right. out of it. Right, right, like a boutonniere. Tie it up with a bit of string. Is that a to help string. keep it together? Keep and, it together mm -hmm. so it doesn't fly around in your broth. Later, when it's cooked, you can just lift it out and yes. throw it away. There we are. All right. Is that going too high for you? Or? I think so. Do you? I don't know this stove. You want to turn it down a bit? Fine. Just so it will simmer. Let's say we'll turn mm. it to low and see what happens. If it go, might go too low Fine. for you, we can change Thank it. Thank you. What else goes in there? Well, let's put some carrots in. Carrots? Would you like to give me the carrots? Mm -hmm. oh. There, let's chop them up then. You take one. Do you want all these? You've got... Oh, uh, no, just two. Just, just two? Yeah, just two. What are you doing with them? Oh, little slices like that. Little slices. Do you worry much about the way it's cut or...? Not really. No? Not really. Oh, you're fast. <laughs> probably too chunky for you. You're probably no. going to complain. No? That's fine. Oh. Should I do another one now? Please? I don't think so. I no, think two so will not? be enough. For that amount of borscht, right. that'll be plenty. We I mean, had about one carrot in there, I really... Just about. We, yes. Just about. Uh, Do you fine. leave the lid off while all this is going on? We can on? put it on while we're doing our... Does it our help beets. put it on? It keeps it boiling, I suppose. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It doesn't evaporate as fast. All now, right. would you pass me the beets, please? The beets are mm -hmm. here. Now, I've got some chopped up. Mm -hmm. Let's chop this one up. All right. Would you help me? Let's get it in half. Oh, that's a new beet. It won't take very long to cook. <laughs> there, I do it in slices first, and I don't know the way you would do it. Well, I'm going to follow you, I hope. And slice Watch your fingers. They're yeah. very sharp knives. You don't want to lose them. Oh, I don't do that. There we are. Oh, Come and see. You've got are them you in little... Uh, well, I'm not quite oh, with you. Oh, I'm going to recognize your beets right away. Yours are awfully thick. <laughs> A good Ukrainian housewife doesn't cut them. She cuts them very thin. Oh, she? and you know who's the biggest complainer? Who? Her husband. Really? Oh, Are they yes. very difficult husbands? No, they've, uh, they're so proud of their women mm -hmm. cooking Ukrainian dishes that it just has to be so the way their mothers used Dear, to do it. Promise and they... me you won't take this home. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to put that in the broth then. Fine. Is this enough? No, I think let's put a little more so it'll be oh, really red. I've got one red. in so far. Uh, let's put a little more of that in. A little in. more in. You know what? Let's dunk it all you in. You tell me when to... Oh, sure. Oh, dunk all right. it all in. We don't have to eat the beets. There. How's Fine. that? Fine. Now, let that cook for a minute. Mm-hmm. You, you, you want to go stove again? again? All right. Thank you. Now, how about the cabbage? Cabbage. Fine. You choose the white cabbage, do you? Well, it's either the new cabbage or old cabbage. This happens to be the old cabbage. Mm -hmm. And it was just a little... Oh, maybe a quarter of a head and I chopped it up. Yes. It's just for two people, for you and I, Anne. Well, that's true. And I you suppose you're to... not used to cooking for well, you and I. You... <laughs> oh, no, I'm usually cooking for a family of four and we're big eaters. Oh, I see. Can't you tell? Well, <laughs> uh, well you, you're helping me a great deal because I seem to be putting on weight too. <laughs> Fine. Put it all in. I think it's going to be good. At least you show you like food, don't you? Yes, that's, we do enjoy our food. Deal. Our food is very good. Fine. What happens to that now? Well, let's that cook for a little while, Anne, because yeah, the beets are raw. High. We'll put it on high, All and right. we'll start something else. Well, uh, what else goes in this? Let's... That'll be the tomato juice for the borscht for later on As soon on as this here. boils... As soon as it uh, mm -hmm. comes to a boil, we'll add our tomato juice in. Yes. Is there anything else that goes into a borscht? 
into a bush. You can give string beans. Mm -hmm. I like to give a little can of pork and beans for the tomato sauce flavor and the bean flavor. Hold it a second. Pork and beans? Uh-huh. Well, just an ordinary commercial brand of pork yes. and beans. And you put the beans in too? Right. Yes. In Ukraine, and I was taught to uh, add dry beans. That's the white yes. beans or the kidney beans. Uh -huh. But you have to soak them overnight. And the next day, they take an awful long time to boil. So it's much easier to open up a can. I can't believe that a good Ukrainian cook goes Shh. opening up cans. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to eventually put a little bit of that yes, in. As soon as it comes to a boil, Anne, and then we'll add the tomato juice. Do we put any potatoes in or anything Yes. Else? Yes, but I'd like that to come to a boil. But let's prepare our potatoes we'll start for start chopping them, I guess. Fine. Oh, yeah, I see you have them soaking in water, which is a good idea, so that yes. we don't... Uh... You know how black they get. Oh, indeed. How do you do these? Well, it doesn't really matter. It could be diced. Diced? All right. Yes. Are your hands red from the beets, Anne? Because mine are. They're coming that way, yes. Like a little bit of gore in the kitchen, they end up all nice and red. Look as they've really been working. There we go. No, faster than I am, you see. I'm much... I'm not a Ukrainian housewife. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about it. <laughs> After you finish our dinner today, I think uh, you'll uh, sort of be half Ukrainian, eh? Half Ukrainian? I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. It's coming. It's coming. It's just a little bit slow. Let's put it in. Well, it's, I don't I want to ruin so. your recipe. All, All right. the vegetables are chopped pretty fine, so they'll... Would you really try and wait each time until it comes to a boil? It's better, especially yes. for the potato, because the potatoes will cook much faster. I see. That won't right. take long, because the beets are quite uh, young. They mm -hmm. won't take long what at all. What is the difference? Now, you, you mentioned this point, young. Supposing you're cooking in this in midwinter. Uh, well, midwinter, you've got young beets. Cooking it in midsummer. Yes. yes. But is there a difference in the cooking technique? Yes. You'd have to cook the winter beets a little longer, at mm -hmm. least 20 minutes, Anne, because they are hard. Yes. And uh, you have to cook them longer. The new beets, five, six minutes is plenty for them if they're chopped that fine. Mm -hmm. But borscht, is, does the name borscht have anything to do with beets? I think it does. You think it does? Yes, and there's so many types of borscht, yes. and you can go to 50 women's homes and eat 50 borschtes. I guarantee you, not one will be the same. <laughs> not one. How many people are going to complain that your Ukrainian borscht is not a Ukrainian borscht? Well, the only thing I can say is I'm cooking it the way my mother taught me. Did your mother teach you all your cooking procedures? Yes, she, she did. did. She was a very good cook, and she made us all good cooks. Yes? yes. When um, people tell me this, I often wonder, do you sit at mother's knee and watch what she's doing? No, my mother was different. She made us do the work. She I sat see. while we did the work. She sat while you did? She sat at the kitchen table, mm -hmm. especially making bread or whatever it was. She yes. told us what to do, what to add to it, and that's the way we became to Ooh. satisfy our husbands. I see. Now, when this comes to a boil, you're going to add some tomato juice. Mm -hmm. So I'll clear this for a second, and we'll get ready, because I know we're going to have cabbage rolls, which I still can't pronounce. Holupchi. Holupchi. Good. All right. Good. I'll start getting things ready for you here. I Fine. hope I have the ingredients here. Now, what happens next? Well, as you see, our rice is all done. Mm -hmm. I had that prepared a little ahead of time. Would you mind telling me exactly what you did with it? It's cooked, obviously. Yes, it's uh, partially cooked, I would say. Not quite, but it's partially cooked. You cook your rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I took a cup of rice in here, added about a cup or a cup and a half of water, brought it to a boil, and mm -hmm. covered it, took the heat off, and let the rice absorb the water. Mm -hmm. Then I set it aside for it to cool off a little. Then I had some bacon fried with onions. Just ordinary bacon? Ordinary bacon, side mm -hmm. bacon. About how much? About a half a pound to this. Yes. And for a little added flavor, I gave a bit, oh, about a quarter of a pound of butter. This is the bacon That's that I the bacon. see. That's the bacon. These little... The brown. So you diced your bacon. Right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You I see can the onion? find a little bit of onion yes, in there. there yes, there it is. There it is. So that's, and then what did you do, how did it become this sort of strange color? 
Well, we added tomato juice, but to this tomato juice, I diluted about a tablespoon of tomato paste with the tomato juice to get it sort of a live red color, tomatoey color. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks as though it's very good. I'm going to stop you one second because I see something Ooh, that's yes. boiling like mad oh, over there. Oh, yes. Shall we put it on simmer? How about putting some tomato juice in, Anne? Not, not too much, just a bit. You tell me when. Fine. Fine. That's when. Good. You know why we add tomato juice, do you? I don't know why you add it. Well, to give it a sort of a tart, tart sour taste. I the meat will be quite sweet. And if you give the tomato juice or a juice of a lemon, some like to give vinegar, but mm. I like to give tomato juice. I'll tell you, you added one third of a cup. I don't suppose that occurred to you how mm. much I was putting No, I, uh, I'm I, but for two people, I think that's plenty. And we won't <laughs> eat baby <laughs> eat anymore. I just wanted to tell you. Since we're talking about tomato juice, how much did we put in with our rice? To that cup of rice? Oh, I gave out a cup of tomato juice. And you had in your rice, how much rice did you start out? A cup out of with? rice. A cup of rice. Uh-huh. About a cup and a half of water. Yes. Brought it to a boil. Don't forget your salt in the rice. Mm -hmm. A good dash of salt. And then as soon as it starts boiling, yes. you cover it mm -hmm. and turn the heat off. Mm -hmm. And the rice will expand and absorb the water. Then you set it aside to cool before you yes. give your fats. Then you've got all these little bits in, and then you added how much? Cup of cup, a cup, As much mm -hmm. as that? Yes. So the rice has absorbed this, because there's right. no... Uh, it's not moist. No. It, it is moist, but it's not uh, squishy squashy. Not squishy squashy. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do next? Well, let's uh, help with boiling... Uh, uh, well, we have to make the cabbage rolls. Well, I see you've got something yes. started off yes. here. Those are our cabbage leaves. That's but they've, they've already been cooked yes, or Yes, I blanched blanched them ahead of time. Yes. Are you going to show me how you blanch yours? Oh, would you like to pass me that cabbage? Right. Now, here's a small head of cabbage. Now, let's get that coral, eh? Might be a little difficult, but not really. Get the core out first before you start That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. There we are. So you've got that center right out. Right out. I should have gone a little deeper. Uh-huh. But we shall do it like that. And I have the water boiling to blanch it. Break it up. I'm going to add some salt to this water. All right. Make the cabbage a little crisp. You see, I don't use a teaspoon. No, I see you use... Don't a... ask me how much. There's Just a... use salt. <laughs> the four fingers full. Yes. Do you use a lot of salt if you have a lot yes. of water? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So then this is being cored out here. Right. And then you didn't do anything else to it at no, all? No, no, it's Just going to fall apart out. in a minute, as soon as we have that. All right. The water is hot enough to put it in. Would you like to put it into the cabbage? Thank you. I'm not going to drop it in that boiling. No. Now, you've put it... We the got the coral side. first, just to sort of tease it a little. Uh-huh. Now, check it over. Oh, well, you only leave it there for a few seconds. For a few seconds. It's yes. new cabbage, and it's just to wilt it. That's uh -huh. the idea. You see how it came apart? It already starts to come apart yes. as soon as you put it as in. as soon as it gets into the hot water. There we are. But I like to leave it in the water a little bit more because the veins here are quite hard. Well, then that? if you were doing this at home, you'd have this part done very quickly, would you? Ahead of time, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very fast. Once you once you have the water boiling, it's very fast. Yes. There we are. Isn't that marvelous? I, I didn't know you took the core out first. I imagine myself sort of pulling off oh, leaves. Oh, you'll and break then the leaves then. Break the leaves. Oh, you'll uh -huh. break the leaves. Fine. We'll just leave that in for a minute, right, Anne, and let that blanch Maybe well. we can work with the ones that we have right. blanched here. Oh, really? There you are. It's all up to you. Well, and these, we haven't deveined de these cabbages. See that hard strip of yes. vein here, the core? Well, how about just getting it off? There's Why no... do you do that? So the vein doesn't break when you... Well, it's kind of hard, and it's a hard piece of cabbage, and mm -hmm. it's easier to roll up. Yes. And, uh, well, it looks, it won't look as bulky, a cabbage <laughs> roll, as, uh, as with it. All right, show me how you roll yeah. one. You just take one cabbage leaf. All right, now... And take the vein out. You, do, you haven't taken the whole thing out, just the No, sort of just that hard bit. Go a little deeper. A little deeper? I'm afraid of cutting the thing in half. <laughs> right, now, we, would you like to pass the rice here and we'll make a few cabbage rolls? Right. Spoon here. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, right. Now, how do you fold? Well, it? take that core, the vein towards you. We're going to yes. tuck it inside. Let's get some bacon in there, eh? Wait, All right. There we are. Now, you just roll it away from you. Tuck it under. You're doing it so fast, I no, can't tell what no, you're doing. No, I'm doing it slow. Now, tuck those ends in. <laughs> you're doing you it slow. <laughs> you don't want your uh, rice to fall out. No. There's your cabbage roll. There's one. Do one in slow motion for me. Was that fast? That was fast. Well, you just gonna, sort of wait. I'm going to let Let's... you do the big one because you All put right. a lot of rice in and that'll be yours. How's that? Okay, you tuck it in. You see yes. that core going in? Uh -huh. You see that? Now you can just push tuck those ends in if you like. Could I, with the big one, for instance, let, let me just practice. Supposing I put those in like that, that's okay. all right. Whatever is easier I for you. I wouldn't be wrong. No, definitely not. All right, let's see if I can do one of these. Is that would too much? You, no, would you open up that? Sit, open it up. Fine. Oh, add a little more. Am I mean with my rolls? Oh, don't be skimpy. <laughs> a little more. Fine. No. I'm afraid I won't get it all in. Fold over there. Uh-huh. Fold over there. Now, with your fingers. That a girl. I have to use two hands. Is that Everybody has to oh, use two I thought, hands. Uh, you seem to me to be doing it all with one hand. See, yours looks nicer than mine. Where's mine? <laughs> There's the expert. Heaven, that's the kind my mother used to make. Well, practice makes Very perfect. Very good. Need I, another one just for good luck. I'll never do another one. Let's get that vein. <laughs> Would you want to get that vein Oh, off? yes, the vein has to come out, doesn't it? You're doing very well. I think this is going to be more difficult because it's a small one. Well, try a little more rice. A little more rice. A sure. little bit of bacon. Fine. Open up your leaf well. You don't want any... Oh, I see. You have to make sure you get your... that all down, no? Right. See, what do I do with that hat? Squeeze with your hand a little in. All right. I don't think I'll ever be a champion cabbage roll maker. There we are. Oh, that's a tiny one. That's the way you should really make them nice and small. But if I made this for my family, it would take me all night. Oh, no, no. You think I could get practice? Practice makes perfect. You'll do that so quickly, you'd be... <laughs> Now, let's get our uh, dish for these cabbage. Oh, yes. Uh, will this dish be all right for you? I think so. Well, it's for the two of us. It'll have to make I don't. It. I have a feeling you don't like cooking for the two of us. No, I like to cook for uh, lots of people. Yes? Now, the idea, Anne, is we like to line our utensils with the odd uh, wilted cabbage leaf that you... The first one that come off. Right. Uh -huh. Because cabbage has a tendency to scorch. So would you like to just line that? These old outside leaves, you mean? Uh -huh. do, I, do I take any veins well, off or anything you, Do you know how to split a cabbage leaf in case you don't want a big cabbage roll like that, do you? No. Would you know how to split one? See that I'm center vein? Love. You uh -huh. see that center? Well, there it is. Okay? Marbles. Uh -huh. Just like the dressmaker does it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, it's much easier to line your dish. Down the middle. It doesn't. Oh, oh, you got the wrong end, Anne. This oh, end here. Here you are. <laughs> Try. Oh, Try dear. Mm -hmm. Can't even break the thing in half. There we go. Ah, oh, Eureka. Uh, Good. I learn and learn. Good. <laughs> so we just line this. This line, if that's right. All right. Now let's put our cabbage rolls in. You put them in there, just uh -huh. to... Well, you sort of put them nicely in order. Oh, excuse me, Anne. The one, this that mm -hmm. has been... Try and put it on the bottom. Otherwise, the when it comes to take it out, it's going to fall over. You mean the, the seam part? The seam, right. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, let's pretend that's a dish full of cabbage rolls. Oh, all right. See, right. Not for two now, people. how about pass me some tomato juice, and we'll pour a little bit of tomato juice over it. Yeah. Well. Just a bit for, for the two of us. You know why we give the tomato juice? Keep it moist? Keep it moist. Keep the rice moist. Now, oh, if you had it full, you'd give a little, much more. So it doesn't have to sort of come up the side really. No, it's just no. a little bit, uh, just over the right. top, really. And then uh, you can always keep peeking at it. If you feel yes. it's dried out, add a little more tomato juice. It won't harm it. Now, we must cover it on the top also, or else the cabbage rolls will sort of I don't know that we're going to have enough wilted well, we'll ones. Can we use those? Sure. Let's turn my cabbage leaf the right way up this time. I had a little break. That wasn't can... my fault. <laughs> it had a little break. Now, does it matter which way you're No, it doesn't matter. Fine. Those you discard after the whole of tea are baked now. We may as well use them. Right. Just Here you time. are. We cover it. And in the oven. You cover it? Baked. Yes. You have to cover it. All right. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in the oven. And how long does it stay in there? Uh, oh, an hour. 
An hour or so. An hour or so. An hour and a half. Depends if it's young cabbage. Why don't you take it to the oven? I'll Fine. settle the oven for oh, you. Lady. Can you manage that? Well, if you open the oven door for me. Certainly. Now, you know, Aunt, nobody cooks cabbage rolls for two people. I, I, I have understood that. <laughs> but I have a surprise. I've got a casserole full of bowl of tea. Do you know, I thought there was something that I could ah. smell. I had a feeling you were cheating somewhere. Here we are. They're all ready. Can I take the lid off now? Please do. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Now, you, you take these... You these discard off. the top, please. Yes, that was just an insulation for the cabbage rolls. Oh, don't they look good? See the bacon peeking through? Yes. But this really is a pot of cabbage rolls. Oh. Mine looks kind of silly with those four <laughs> cabbage rolls going in there. Isn't that something? Look, the, even the tomatoes sort tomatoes, of, yes. yes. You can put that aside if you don't care for that. This looks like 10,000 cabbage rolls. No, no, that's a good <laughs> Ukrainian family portion yes. of cabbage rolls for one day. I'm going to take this into the dining room in a second, but is there something we have to do with the borscht before we go? I think we'll finish off the borscht. Would you like to pass me the cream, please? What is this, whipping cream or well, you cereal cream? That is cereal cream. Mm -hmm. Now, borscht with sour cream is delicious. Yes. But my family likes it with sweet cream, so would you mind if I gave the sweet cream? All right. Well, it should perk it up a bit. This should be boiling. I'll just stir it a little with that, shall I? Okay. I've lost my... Here's my spoon. You got your spoon? Yes. I'll pour it in and you give it a few swirls, eh? All right. I think that should be enough. <sighs> Isn't this smelling good? You know what you smell? You smell the parsley, the bay leaf. I see the parsley. Yes. There it is. We'll discard that before we put uh -huh. it on the table. How long would this normally cook? I know we're trying to rush it a bit now. How long would oh, you Oh, for about a half an hour. About if it's young hour. beets, you should yes. have with your meat stock already. Uh, 15 minutes to 30 mm -hmm. minutes should should do it. It's looking marvelous already. How much cream did you put in? Quarter uh, of a cup for the two of about us? About a quarter of a cup. Fine. Not far off. Fine. Let's take this into the dining room, and I can see a good meal ahead Fine. of us. Let's go. home, Nigel. Why, thank you, Anne. It's so nice of you to remember and know our Ukrainian custom. But it's a beautiful custom. It is. This is a custom that's used when you welcome your guests into your home. And that means the symbol is plenty, happiness, long life, and hospitality. With salt and bread. Salt and bread. It's a beautiful custom. It's lovely. My borscht is smelling too good. It looks just perfect. Everything seems to have sort of Stayed separately. My beets are still, they're not mashed in no, or anything. They've no. all stayed separately. What's that I found there? Is that part of the greenery? No, that's part of the sparrows I had in the broth. Oh, oh, isn't that nice? I've got a meaty dish as well. Now, uh, cabbage rolls, too. What, what do you call them? Holopchi. Holopchi? Cabbage rolls look beautiful. They stay so separate. Look at it. It just. Uh huh. Comes away without any problem. How many of these would you eat at a meal? Depends on the appetite and how good they are. I can go through four or five. Would you have anything with them? Why, yes, you can serve it with sour cream. Sour cream. Very good with sour cream or a mushroom sauce made out of uh -huh. mushrooms and sour cream, or the gravy type. Yes, and that would make a complete meal. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's certainly a delicious meal. And I noticed something in front of you that I hadn't seen before and you didn't cook for me. What is it? A city chicken. City chicken. And it's chicken? No. No chicken. It's veal and pork. Veal and pork and it's city chicken. Mm-hmm. Looks to me like some kind of shish kebab. It, it does look like a shish kebab, but it's, uh, there's no vegetables. It's strictly all veal and pork. Uh-huh. And what have you done inside here? Well, you take your veal and your pork, and you cube it the night before you yes. plan to use it. You cube it, you salt, pepper, paprika, and a clove of garlic mm -hmm. into it, and you marinate it overnight in the fridge. Yes. The next day, you take your wooden skewers, and you start threading them. One cube of veal and one cube of pork. After you've threaded them, you uh, dip them in your egg, and then your breadcrumbs, and you fry them in your deep fat. 
Oh, they're deep fat fried. Deep fat fried. Then you put them in the oven for a little while for uh -huh. them to sort of cook. Is this typically Ukrainian? No, it's not, Anne. It's a sort of an adopt adopted Ukrainian dish. Yes. Uh, somewhere, somehow, um, at one of our big, fantastic Ukrainian weddings, this was served and it made a hit with the Ukrainian women. And every household knows how to make city chicken and serve it to their family. So we have a Canadian-Ukrainian dish all of our own. Right. What's for dessert? I see something over there that looks very interesting. That's poppy seed roll, makivnik. Thank you. <laughs> Can you say it, Anne? I can't. No, I'm sorry. What is it? Makivnik. And it's a poppy seed roll? No, it's made on a bread dough, mm -hmm. a sweet bread dough. And uh, when your dough has risen, you roll it out as yes. you would a jelly roll. You brush some egg white on the dough because uh, you don't want your poppy seed to fall all over the place. No. Then you put your poppy seed roll, poppy seed filling. When you say filling, are there other things in with the poppy uh, seeds? There's ground nuts, uh -huh. honey, uh -huh. or sugar. You can put some jam in there to make it a little uh, on the spreading constituency. Glue it together? Glue it together, right. And then you roll it up like a jelly roll. Mm -hmm. And you let it rise in the pan for a while, like as you would a loaf of bread. Yes. And you bake it in your oven till it's ready. It looks to me as though you baked it in a loaf pan, because it looks like right. a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you about these eggs, because I know that Ukrainians are very famous for these decorated eggshells, aren't they? Yes, they're all hand done. Mm -hmm. The ladies, uh, they do take a lot of pride in our Easter eggs, and each egg would take between four and five hours work. Oh, it's, it's incredible. We could see the delicate work on them. They're really it's beautiful. It's but is it an Easter tradition to It is, this? yes. When we bless our food mm -hmm. at Easter at church yes. with our food, we should have a few pisankia, our decorated Easter eggs. You don't crack these and eat them, I hope, Oh, no, they wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh, no. It's a, it's a lovely custom, too. And I thank you so much, Nadia. This has been a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Yeah, for you.